Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over another property that circumscribed angles have uh, that I didn't cover in a previous video. So let's go through this. Remember that a circumscribed angle has the vertex outside of the circle. Okay, so remember that's very important. Circumscribed angle, vertex outside the circle. In this case, it would be point A. Now, it forms two tangent lines with the circle itself. And remember that tangent lines form 90 degree angles with the circle. So to the center of the circle, this angle here would be 90 degrees. Let me just write all that down again. So first property, vertex outside circle. Very important. Second property, two tangent lines. There we go. Which form 90 degree angles or perpendicular angles. Remember that's the symbol for perpendicular with the center point. Whoops. In this particular case, we will form a kite, right? A four-sided figure. So it forms a quadrilateral called, that's a Q, quadrilateral called a kite. Now you know that any four-sided figure has 360 degrees internally or internal angles, right? So one thing that you could do to figure out the angle or the measure of a circumscribed angle is to add up all three of the other angles and subtract from 360, right? And you need to know the third angle. In this particular case, I know that arc A or BC rather equals 130 degrees, which means that my central angle, different word, central angle is 130 degrees. Remember, central angle starts in the middle. The vertex starts in the middle of the circle. So I could just add up 90 plus 90 plus 130, and I could find my circumscribed angle. The other way to do this is the second method. So I know that opposite angles, and this is the important part of this particular video, Opposite angles in a opposite angles in a kite are supplementary. Remember that word. Supplementary means adds up to one hundred and eighty degrees. Add up to one hundred and 80 degrees. If I know that the central angle here is 130, then I don't even have to add up everything else. I know that this angle would have to be 50. Because 50 and 130 equals 180. Okay, so two methods again. Go ahead and add up all the angles. If you know three of them, Add them up and, and subtract, and you'll find the missing angle. In this case, it's the circumscribed angle. Or just realize that opposite angles, the second method, are supplementary. Hope that was helpful.